Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joke video, and today we're looking at a new deck here that I built using both Gallade and Zoark, which I feel like have pretty good synergy together with Primoition and Trade. I think they go pretty nicely, and we'll discuss how this deck works and everything about it in just a moment. So yeah, let's talk about the deck. Alright, so, obviously your main attacker is going to be Gallade. Gallade's a pretty cool card. It has seen some play in the past with the Artillery. Um, before Burning Shadows came out, this deck was a decent archetype. We mainly see Galilee as like a one-of in Gardevoir GX, um, but it's kind of like the opposite. So we're playing three Galilees instead of and uh, one Gardevoir, but usually in Gardevoir you'd see three Gardevoirs and one Galilee. So it's kind of funny how it works. But let's look at look at Galilee here. Of course, we have Primo Wishin. It's kind of going to be the main function of the deck thanks to Zor GX's ability. Um, once your turn, you may look at the top five cards of your deck, put them on back on top of your deck in any order you want. So this is going to be really good because we get to see the top five cards, and if there's anything in there we need, we can rearrange it, then use Zorak's ability to get that card for free. We also have Sensitive Blade. If you play a supporter card from your hand during this turn, this attack does 70 more damage. So you're going to do 130 damage for DC. Now, 130 actually isn't that great at the moment um, because you're not one shotting that many things. With a Choice Band, you get to do 160. Now that's pretty good, um, but it's not great. Now, one thing Galley does have going for it is its typing is amazing. I've already said before, fighting type is a great type to be. We looked at that Zygarde Golisopod Garb deck, which did great, by the way, so thank you guys for that. Um, but that deck played Finding Pokemon, and Finding Pokemon, I feel like, just have a really good spot in the format right now because of how good your typing is. I mean, just think of all the Pokemon that you're going to be hitting for weakness. You're going to be hitting Drampa GX, Zork GX, which is a huge one. Raichu, you know, Raichu, people are going to be testing it out to see if it works, right? You also have, like, that new baby Raikou. You got Darkrai GX, Darkrai EX. So there's a lot of things that Gali just smokes, which is really good. So you hit a lot of good weaknesses, which is important. So it just makes a lot of matchups really easy to win, which is cool. Um, now, again, that 160 damage is a little unfortunate, but we do have ways to add extra damage on the board. One cool thing we can do is Tapu Koko. We already know Tapu Koko. It's got Flying Flip. We see it all the time, but this is going to be great, you know, to finish something off. You do 160 with the Choice Band, and then you Flying Flip it later on down the road to KO it. Or you can soften it up to be KO'd by Galilee. So that's kind of how that's going to work with Tapu Koko. It's also a great Pokemon to open with with that free retreat cost. We also do play two Professor Kiwis to do extra damage. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, Galilee's is great. We are going to be playing a ton of supporters in this deck to back up Galilee's sensitive blade attack. So, that's how it goes. We do play other Pokemon, though. And, of course, the secondary thing is going to be Zoark, which is one of those other Pokemon that we play. Zoark is a huge card in this deck. Trade with Mallow and with Galilee's ability is amazing. It's just going to mean you're going to have an endless loop of Pokemon to have in play. Like, you can straight up just do Mallow for Rare Candy Galilee, trade... And then, boom, you got another Galilee in play, or you have your Galilee in play. Because ideally, you want to go for Zoark first, then set up the Mallow play. You also have a lot of things you can do with Zoark with Primo Wishin. Because you, if there's anything in that Primo Wishin that you might want, you can just trade for it. And it's amazingly good. We also have Riach's Baiting, which can be great. It can do a max 150 with a Choice Band full field. Um, again, you're not one shiny stuff, but we already have the theme of Professor Kikui and Tapu Koko, so the one shiny stuff shouldn't be that hard with those cards, or at least getting stuff to be KO'd later on down the road. So, Zoark is a great backup attacker, but has a really good ability. The other backup attacker in the deck is Gardevoir GX. Now, the reason I am playing Gardevoir GX in here um, is because it's a great Pokemon for support. It's funny that this is going to be a support Pokemon. Now, we're not going to use it for Secret Spring, we're not really going to use it for the ability. Mainly for the attacks, okay? The first thing is Infinite Force. Infinite Force can be great to just smoke something in one hit. If something with a ton of energy is in play, we can just Infinite Force it and KO it really early on. This can be great, I guess, if we're playing it something that like Kiawe's us, or for whatever reason, we need that Infinite Force. But we also have Twilight. Twilight is great in this deck. It just resets the board completely for you. It gets you back so many important resources that you lost. Your supporters are a big one. You want an Infinite Force, or Twilight, sorry, Twilight GX. You want to go Twilight for all the supporters you ended up using. Then you keep going with Sensitive Blade. You can get back your Special Charge, your Choice Bands, any Pokemon you may have lost, right? So, Twilight is amazing. Also, if you're playing against Garboder, which Galley just so happens to be weak to Psychic types, you know, you really get a better advantage in that matchup thanks to Twilight. So, Twilight is incredible. This is why I play Gardevoir, is mainly for Twilight GX. Um, you could obviously 
try out dark energies instead of having Gardevoir and Fairy Energy, then you can run, you know, Trickster GX, try that out. You can also use something like Necrozma in here, but I've used Necrozma just way too many times in the past, like, week. I've done way too many Necrozma decks, I'm just not gonna bother looking at Necrozma today. Um, I'm gonna take a break from anything to do with Necrozma. So, that's gonna be that works, and we got that Twilight to help us out. Some other Pokemon, we got one Vulpix. I'm considering Ninetales. Um, not only does it give you Ice Path, which sometimes is better than Twilight in some situations, but also, it helps you against Volcanion. If Volcanion's in your way, you just put a Choice Band on. We already played the Professor Kikuis, so they're pretty easy to get. And, uh, we might be able to one-shot Volcanion fairly easily with Vulpix and Ninetales. So, you could consider running a 1-1 Ninetales in here if you really want to. I was considering that myself. We do play two Tapu Leles with Wonder Tag. Wonder Tag is a great, um, great ability. Um, though we do already play a, a ton of supporters, I think it's good to still have them, but we already play a lot of supporters. And with Trade and Primo Wishin, it's not like we're ever going to never run out of supporters. So that's why I'm only playing two Leles instead of something like three, just if you're wondering. Uh, we go into the Trainers and Supporters, and there's a lot of them. Mainly the items. We got one Evo Soda. I love Evo Soda. You can Evo Soda Ralts and Akurlia. You can Evo Soda Zoark or Zoro and Zoark. That's why I really like having it in here. Two Field Blowers. This is really important. I was considering three because, again, without your abilities, this deck is kind of weak. But with Field Blower, you're able to get rid of the abilities. But we already have Twilight GX, so we can easily just get back our Field Blowers for playing against Garbodor. Four Rare Candies. Again, Rare Candy is how we're going to do it. I'm just going to straight up go four. And there's a reason I'm only playing one Curly instead of two. is because with Rare Candy, we can go Rare Candy with Trade. We can Mallow. We can Primo Wish in Mallow, Gallade. Before. You get my point, right? It's really easy to get Gallades and play this deck. So I'm going to go four Rare Candies. Uh, one Rescue Stretcher to get back our Pokemon. Um, again, we're going to be playing like a 1-1 one, one line of most things. Like one Stretcher, one Rod, you know, stuff like that. Because we have Twilight GX. Um, but these are important cards. Special Charges are really important because we're relying on mostly DCE. Four Ultra Balls to be able to search out your deck for any Pokemon you need. We are going to go to Bridget. Turn 1 Bridget is very important in this deck. I was considering 3, but I couldn't find any space. I think 2 is perfectly fine. 3 Guzmas. Guzmas great. I'm considering running only 2 though, in all honesty. We got 3 Mallows. Mallow is one of the most important cards in this deck. Once you Mallow trade, you can immediately get a Gallade and play that quickly. You just Mallow for a Rare Candy and a Gallade, and boom, there you go. So, Mallow is a great card in this deck. It's one of the most important cards in here. Three ends for draw support. Two Professor Kikuis. Again, this is how we can maybe do like 170 with Zoark. Or even 180 with Gallade with a Choice Band. Or maybe we can use it with Gardevoir GX to uh, do some big damage too. Um, even though you're already doing big damage. Two Sycamores. We're mainly relying on other supporters to do the dirty work for us. But two Sycamores is still good. We got one Skyla. Skyla's great. You can Skyla for Rare Candy or something like that. Maybe Skyla for Evo Soda. Four Choice Bands, we're going to maximize our Choice Bands, though we have Twilight, four Choice Bands is still good, because sometimes you need to do that extra damage to finish them off with Tapu Koko, or do enough damage to KO them with the backup supporter, Professor Kikui. Two Float Stones, I like having two in here, something, you know, sometimes you want to be able to retreat for free. Uh, four DCEs, everything used DC in here, and three basic Fairy Energies, so that we can have energy for Gardevoir's attacks for Infinite Force and Twilight GX. So yeah, this is my Gardevoir. Um, or not sorry, well, Gardevoir, Gallade, Zoark, or mainly Gallade, Zoark. It's a very fun deck, and I really do have high hopes of this deck in the future. Let's find out how this deck performs on PDCGO, and of course we'll find some some games with the deck, and we'll see you in action. So I'll see you guys in just a moment where we get some games with our deck. Alright, let's get some matches here with our Gallade, Zoark deck. Now, I will say some of your worst matchups, probably Gullispot, Garboder, just because Garboder already hits your galley for weakness, Gullispot is hard to one-shot, and with Ace Rolla, it's going to be a hard matchup. So we'll see if we end up playing against it. But it looks like we're up against... Oh, I don't know. I'm th I honestly have a weird feeling this is like Houndoom Mill or something, I don't know why. So I didn't see any water types, I don't know if it's Volk, I mean it might not be Volk, right? It could be anything in the world. I guess we'll find out. I have no clue what we're playing against though, but let's see. We are going to mulligan a few times, unfortunately. Oh, it's a Salazzle deck, okay. Hmm, interesting. Looks like it's just, could be straight Salazzle. I didn't see grass, so I don't know if it's like some kind of Salazzle Laurentis archetype. We'll see. I was considering Espeon in this deck too, because you're not one-shotting. So Espeon could be another cool tech card you can put in. We are going to open with a Zorua. A Zorua. 
which is fine, I guess. I don't want Diabolical Claws to get, you know, too crazy, though. It's going to be hard to one-shot um, thing anyway, so we'll see. But we do get a turn one Bridget here, which is really nice. Plays Drampa. That's kind of good because it's a great matchup for us, but Righteous Edge could be annoying. But Drampa is a great matchup for us just because it's weak to fighting. Um, so we are going to Ultra Ball. I'm going to get rid of Guzma and uh, Sycamore here. And we can Lele for one of our Bridgets. The only problem is, can we get a Galate and play next turn? Also, are we going to get knocked out? My opponent just literally put a bunch of Slazzles down. So I didn't see any signs of any supporter cards. I don't know, unless he's holding on to something. Hopefully he doesn't have a DC to knock me out next turn. I guess he can big wheel. So that's interesting. I think I'm just going to put down a Vulpix. Actually, I don't know. I don't want to feed my opponent easy KOs for Diabolical Claws. So I think double Ralts and Zoru is fine. Or maybe even... Yeah, I, think that's fine. I was thinking Coco too, but I don't know. Tempted to spare this DCE, but I think I'm just going to pass. Hopefully next turn we are going to be able to get Gallade out. Again, we can just Gallade KO him. Uh, my opponent's probably thinking of playing Gardevoir. No, we have the DC. We'll see if he go... Oh, no. What did you do? Tell me you top deck that. <sighs> That's so bad, dude. Come on. It's going to be even worse if he has Potown. Bruh. Great, great, now he's doing 180i. We need to knock out this Drampa with our Gallade, and we've used up three supporters. We'll see. Well, hopefully we can top deck. If we top deck Rare Candy, this is going to be a really good turn, because we need to knock out this, this Drampa. If we knock out Drampa, we're going to be in a good spot, because I don't know if he plays any other way to really get extra thing on the board. So it's really up to Ralts here. We'll see. Rare Candy. If we had a Mallow, this would be nice. I don't like taking this damage though. I think I'm actually going to go for a trade here. I'm going to get rid of Choice Band. I'm going to try and see if I can hit Rare Candy. We don't, of course not. <laughs> we hit the special charge, really? Oh man, alright, come on. Rare Candy, Gallade. Nice, alright, good. Good, good, good. As long as we got that, we are in good shape. The only problem is we lost special charge. But we do have a lot going for us here. I'm actually going to get rid of... Might want the Skyla, I don't know. Uh, I think I'll just get rid of Energy and Skyla. I want to keep one Fairy Energy for Gardevoir, though. Oh, I was going to grab a Curlia, but no, nope, looks like that's not going to happen. So I think we'll grab it in Ralts number two. I was thinking to get rid of N there. Maybe I should have, I don't know. I want to find a Mallow, though. So we're going to Primo Wish in real quick. Um, it's nothing I really want. I mean, I guess we'll get Stretcher back. Just in case we get knocked out or something. We can get back a Galilee and a Zorua, which is pretty nice. And then we can trade for Coco, Zoark, and a Bridget. I guess, I don't know. Maybe I could use that Bridget too as my support for the turn, because I don't know about any of them. We might get N too, but I don't want to add myself to 4. We'll see what happens. Whatever, let's just take him out with Sensitive Blade here. And yeah, we'll see if my opponent can respond with anything. It's just good we have a DC in our hand. Another DC out of the prizes, which is really good. This means Drampa won't, you know, we won't have to worry about Righteous Edge really disrupting me. I feel like my opponent has an end, though, so if he does, it's going to be bad. Um, we're going to see a Sycamore. All right, never mind. It looks like we are going to be able to live. We are going to see Puzzle, which makes me curious to see if he plays anything like Max Elixir. Nope, just a Righteous Edge. Just for 20, though, and that's fine because we can just immediately bounce back. And I'm going to stretch her. It's going to shuffle my deck, too, which is kind of nice. We can just get back these two guys. Might hold on to Kikui. If we find Choice Band, we can knock him out. But I think I'm going to end him here. I'm going to end him to 5. He has a hand of 7, too, right? So I might as well rip. I was hoping for a Galilee. That's fine, though. We have Bridget, which we can dump here. I might even put Coco down. Yeah, let's put Coco down. All right. Let's go Primo Wish. No, I didn't mean to. What, dude? I didn't mean to click that attack. Oh, no, Rip. I didn't mean to click the attack. Darn. Oh, man, I suck at this game. The good news is we might be able to win next turn. 
I don't know. I didn't mean to click that attack, though. Oh, man, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Rip me. I clicked too quick, guys. There you go. Do not click fast on this game or you'll make misplays like that. Rip. That sucks. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. My opponent's actually getting rid of two ends, so it looks like he's not going to end me this turn. He's used up a few supporters. used up three Sycamores and two ends, so we'll see if he's got anything. Another Drampa. Okay, we could see Drampa here. We still haven't found any Mallows. Like, if we can find a Mallow, we're going to be in good shape. It's probably looking for Floatstone and Energy here, but if we can hit a Mallow, we'll be good. He dumped a lot of supporters. He's out of Sycamores now, so he's, allowed, he's out of a lot of his draw support cards, I see. Puzzle's interesting, I guess. I mean, that's an option, but he's already down two. One might be prized. Let's see. He's looking obviously looking for like a Floatstone and a Energy. So let's see if he hits it. This is an interesting archetype, though. I'm curious to try this deck out down the road. But, okay, he's actually touching a Salazzle. Which is interesting, because he can't knock out my Galilee. Well, no, he can. I mean, I guess. But it's kind of weird, though. <laughs> I'm really salty over that misplay, though. Not gonna lie. Alright. We have the win. What am I saying? We have the win. Okay. I was thinking, like, what do I do here? But no, we, we got the game. We got the game. It's all good, folks. Very good game, I think. We can... Uh, there you go. This is why I really like the fighting type right now. Like, look at this. We literally just... We won in that... We won that quickly. We took a prize every single turn against Drampa. And that, my friends, is how you beat Drampa. And this is why I told you guys that fighting type is really good right now. Because you're gonna beat Drampa very easily. Right? Drampa, Raichu, Zoark. Any archetype like that gets clobbered by fighting type. And this is why I like it. I'm gonna take a peek at his deck, though, if he lets me. I'm very curious to try this kind of archetype out, the Slazzle Drampa deck. It seems like an interesting uh, rogue deck. I don't know if I agree with this list, so I feel like maybe having some Max Elixirs wouldn't be bad. Maybe some more energy. Sevens, nah, that's, that's, that's not enough energy. I think this deck would be pretty fun to try out. I'm going to definitely give this deck a whirl in the future, because I feel like this is going to be a cool deck to look at. Drampa Salazzle. Cool archetype. I'll look at it. I'll make a video on this deck at some point in the future. Maybe this week. I don't know. Maybe... This that inspired me to do it. So let's get one more game with the deck, or another game with the deck. And here we go. We'll find a match. I gotta get a drink of water, I'm very thirsty. Oh, okay. We're gonna be up against, it looks like a potential Galissapod Garb deck. Could also be a spread deck, though. I don't know, what would the Grass type be, though? I don't know. I feel like I've seen the Dark and Grass combo before. I don't know. We'll see what it is, though. I'm hoping maybe it's something like Dark Ride. We're going to actually open with Ralts and a Zarua, which is pretty pretty strong. We do have a confirmed Gallade next turn, so I don't know if I want to keep the hand. It depend It's really depending on what my opponent's going to be running here. Okay, he's a lot of Pokemon he put down. Galissapod and Zor. Okay, this matchup's interesting. But I think we're safe next turn. Which means I'm going to pass. Yeah, because I already have the guaranteed Gallade next turn. So I'm just going to end up passing here. So we can go Gallade. But yes, it's good. Zoark, weak to fighting. Orangaroo, weak to fighting. There's three Pokemon on the board. We get to hit for weakness here. Hopefully we do not get a end though. Because that would be devastating. Because this hand is really, really good. And he's retreating. Okay, I want to maybe find... Alright, so what we'll do, I'm actually thinking of getting rid of N here, which I think I will end up doing. Uh, Choice Band, uh, I mean, I guess we'll get rid of Choice Band, right? I want to keep Floatstone. I am going to dump my N, because we are going to go Prima Wish in here, so. Should be good. It's fine. Maybe I should have kept the end, I don't know. Hopefully, Primo Wishing can give us a Sycamore or a Lele. We got Guzma and Energy. Good enough for me, because I do want to knock out that Wimpod. So I am kind of worried about Ghostpod. I'm actually going to grab Ultra Ball so we can draw into it next turn. Oh no, we can't do Guzma. Oh, uh, rip, I'm, I'm an idiot. I should have grabbed Ultra Ball. Oh, I thought I had something free to trade on the bench for some dumb reason. Hmm, should have evolved them on the bench, my bad. Alright, whatever, we'll keep the Guzma for next turn then. That's fine. Just take out the Zorua then, whatever. Got a Kakui, that's pretty good. 
Alright, I kind of made a bit, bit of a misplay. Not really, though. Not much I could really have done in that situation. Unless I evolved the bench. That would have been too risky. I mean, I wasn't guaranteed to even get the uh, Guzma thing anyways. So I, I want to get rid of this Wimpod, though, soon. We're going to see a Zor come down. That's fine, though. We can just one-shot it without the ability. We haven't put any Pokemon down, either. He's only doing 70? Yeah, he's only doing 70 damage to me. Hand Stammer, of course you have that. Oh, rip. Alright, that means we're going to need to find a card to confiscate that. We are in range of getting the Lissa Potted. I think I'm just going to have to go Lele here for Sycamore. How many DCs? Three. Yeah, that's fine. I know we were actually going to draw one, but it's whatever. Um, maybe I should have done that. Whatever. Let's just Lele. I could go Mallow too, actually. And actually, wait, what am, what am I can't? What am I saying? We'll go Sycamore and hope to hit DC. If we don't hit it, this could be devastating. Alright, we got him, we got him. We also got another Gallade, which is good. I'm actually going to get rid of N and a Vulpix here. We're going to get Gallade number two. I could go Gardevoir, actually, but I don't have any fairies. I don't know. We might need it for Wimpod. Or, yeah, we'll go with Spunk, but I think we'll grab this instead. And we can do Primo Wishin. Grab Ralts, Gallade. Lele, yeah, sure, we'll do that. That's actually perfect. We're not going to be able to trade, though, until next turn. So whatever happens, happens. And, yeah, I guess we sunset blade him for the knockout. And hope he doesn't have Glissbot. Alright, let's see what our prize is going to be. Bridget? Okay, that's good. We can get rid of that with trade, then. Works out perfectly. Alright. Let's see what happens here. He could also knock me out. Oh, Mallow, no! He's gonna grab Golisopod and double colorless energy. It's devastating. So he can knock me out with armor press. This is why a Gallade, I think, has an awful Golisopod matchup. Why have the guard of force? No, like, out the fire Pokemon either you can play, unfortunately. <laughs> and unless you want to go turt. Oh, he's attaching the bench, though. Okay. I mean, he's still guaranteed to knock me out this turn. If he doesn't knock me out this turn, I'm going to be really surprised. Hmm. Okay. That has to have, that had to have been, like, a weird misplay on my opponent's end. I kind of feel bad, not going to lie. It's gotta be like a misplay. Alright, whatever. Do trade. Hmm, I guess we have to attack him here. I think I'm just gonna Lele for Skyla for Choice Band. Or even Professor Kikui. Yeah, actually, let's go Professor Kikui here. I like that more. Well, we can do 160 or 150. I think I'll just do 150. I don't mind that. Okay. Uh, let's do Primo Wishin. Grab DCE. Uh, we'll grab Stretcher. And I guess the rest is history after that. That's all we really need. The DC is the most important card there. And Sensitive Blade for 150. And hope he doesn't have an Ace Rolla. Ace Rolla would be bad. Like, if he has an Ace Rolla with a thing, we could easily see an Armor Press KO, which is not what I want to see. So hopefully we don't see Ace Rolla. No! <clears throat> this is why Ghost of Pot is so hard to beat with this deck. You can't do enough damage to knock it out in one hit. Oh boy. Wish we had two Zorbs in play, that'd be really good. Just have the one though. Please just first impression me. I guess I can showcase you guys why I don't like the Glisspot matchup, I guess, right? So at the end of the day, 
It's still not bad because I can show you guys why I don't like the matchup we've used, but a fair amount of supporters too. The armor press is so annoying though. It's cruel. I was thinking of bringing out Zoark there. I don't know, maybe I should have. Whatever. I think I might go Gardevoir instead. Let's do that. Let's Mallow here for Gardevoir. And we'll grab a Fairy Energy to follow up. Get rid of Bridget House. Maybe think, maybe I should just get rid of Mallow or Gallade. But we're going to actually get a Gardevoir down. Because I think we might have to do Twilight GX soon. Maybe we can try and trap out that Orangaroo or something. And uh, we'll go Primo Wishin, of course. And I guess we'll grab DCE, Special Charge, actually no, Choice Band, Special Charge, Floatstone, Field Blower. And we can Sensitive Blade him. Hopefully we don't see another Ace Rolla though. This is what's preventing me from being able to do anything as Ace Rolla. He has Lele too, so hopefully it's not in his hand or anything. Though we're probably going to Ace Roll it though. This is why I wanted to step the Gardevoir so we have a way to maybe knock out Skill Spot. Or at least put enough damage on it where it's really going to be weak. Because I'm really scared of Ace Roll it. Oh, and he hits it again. Bruh. At least Star uh, Gallade will live the turn, actually, if you think about it. There's no way he can knock me out in one hit unless he sets up Crossing Cut with like some random Max Elixir tech card. But I doubt he plays it. Oh, he's grabbing Bridget. Alright, so it looks like he uh, just wants to sacrifice his Galissapod here. Cool. I don't mind that. Unless he's actually... Oh, he, I, no, he can cross and cut me. Never mind. Two more Zora was down, so that could be our win condition. This is kind of annoying, though. This is why Galissapod, man. It's, you, you can't beat it with Galilee, man. You just can't. I really want a Guzma here, but there's no floats in play or anything. Might just use his turn to do Twilight in all honesty. Alright, what am I looking for? Um, I guess we can grab another Ralts, the Zarua, and then next turn we can... We're going to do Twilight this turn, right? Maybe I grab Guzma then. Yeah, let's grab Guzma. I want to have a Guzma, because we are going to do Twilight this turn. Alright. So we're going to get back U2, U2, U2... You, you, and I guess it's an energy, a choice band. Alright, is this good enough? We haven't played our stretcher, so actually I think we can get one less Ralts back. And maybe get back a, uh, an invisible card. Now, maybe, maybe another DC just in case. I know we have special charge, but I kind of like this more. That's my first time using Twilight, too. So I, I don't have enough Gardevoirs to make a Gardevoir deck, so I don't really care about Gardevoir. But anyways, beside the point, let's do this, and we'll see what happens. And the next turn... Mm, I don't know. Come on. Why do you play two Enhanced Hammers, bruh? Get out of here. Puzzle 2? Bruh, now I'm wishing I was playing Garbodor. That's two decks with Puzzle of Time. Oh my gosh, the ace roller. Hopefully he's only playing two, even though he obviously plays more than one. Hopefully he doesn't have a float stone either. I mean, no, he can just DC retreat, I guess. Oh, never mind, okay. I guess we'll give up a choice band. I think we, did we get that back? Yeah, whatever, we still have three in the deck. Not what I'm looking for, actually. We can't even knock him out here, like, bruh.
I think I'll Skyla for Sycamore then. Oh man, this is tough. This is really tough. My bench is full too. I don't know. This is why, guys, I think Ghost Spot is not a good matchup because you can see how south it's going. There's the Orc GX, so, uh, there's an easy Guzman knockout. Though, I don't think we grabbed one. No, we did. Okay, still have two Guzmans left, so. Zoark is an easy KO. The only problem is we're going to go down. I just hope he doesn't find a float stone here. I mean, I don't know if he wants to use his 30s roller. All right, nice. Rare candy. All right, we're going to get rid of Guzma here. I don't want to because maybe we get Galley DC, but I doubt we will. Okay, we got Zoark. Got float stone. And we have to go Sycamore, unfortunately. That's one rare candy. Just got two left. Got Curlia. But this is obviously the better play. And, oh man, I don't know if I want to knock him out now or wait. I don't know. I'm going to trade off an Ultra Ball here. And let's see what we find. A Choice Band. Okay, I don't know. Let's go Primo Wishin. I think we'll grab Mallow. Mallow, Field Blower, Fairy Energy, Choice Band, Gallade. Maybe we can take out Ghost Spot in one hit next turn, assuming he isn't going to go Armor Press. And I'm tempted just to keep the DC in my hand. Well, I mean, he's used two Enhanced Hammers, but he does have Puzzle of Time, so yeah, that's a bit of a risk. So I think I'm just going to Infinite Force him now. Can we find a Guzma if it is prized? Nope. Dang it, I was hoping we'd find a Guzma. We really do need to knock out these Zorks to win the game. That's how we are going to be able to win. If we're able to win, that's how we win is we take out them Zorks. This is a very good match, though, guys. It's a pretty good game. So, regardless of if we lose or not, I think I'm still going to use it. Because this game is down to the wire, pretty much. Okay, there's a field blower. That's fine. Better my float stone than my choice band. So he's probably going to end up retreating here. He hasn't played that many supporters yet. I haven't seen a Guzma yet. That could be bad. Sycamore. Okay, more energy. Looks like he's not going to go for the uh, armor press play. That's three DCs in the toilet. I mean, he probably plays special charge, but still. That's fine. We're going to definitely get hit hard here, but... My build respond with a KO. So, I know what we're going to draw, and I think I'm going to go trade first. I'm going to get rid of Curlia. Got to watch out for my deck size, too. So, we're going to Field Blower. We're going to do Secret Spring. Actually, wait, let's see if I can get a Guzma here. No! <sighs> Bruh. Oh, man. I guess we're going to have to uh, Mallow then for Guzman. So how much are we doing? So we're going to be doing 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. Not knocking them out yet. I think we'll still do that Secret Spring. Actually, we could attach to Lele instead. So we're not knocking them out. And we'll do it, sure. I'll put an energy on Lele. Oh, I meant to Secret Spring, I think. Oh, rip. What am I doing? Man, I'm making some just bad misplays. I gotta apologize for this, guys. I really do. I'm just gonna double up on Guzmas. I am not making the smartest plays, guys. I know. I know what you're saying. Bruh. You suck. I know I'm bad at this game. I am not making good plays. I, I meant to Secret Spring. Oh, man. I'm just too in my head right now. I'm too focused. Uh, we're doing 90. He's still gonna get knocked out by the thing. But whatever. I should have secret springed and put the DC on. It's whatever. He's still getting knocked out. I don't know. Maybe my mistake is justified. As long as we don't see another Ace Rolla. But even if we do, we're gonna Guzma. We're gonna see that. Interesting. I guess he's just burning it. Hmm. 
I'm really tempted. If he knocks me out, I don't know if I want to bring out Zork or Zork. GX. Or is it like if I bring out Zork, because I'm going to try and knock him out here. I think he might try and Goose me or something like that. I'm just really hoping we don't see a uh, Ace Roller here. That would be just absolutely devastating. Puzzle. Mm, please don't be double puzzle. I think it is. Oh, no. I saw him play the other thing. It's double puzzle. He's just going to ace Rolla, isn't he? Unless it wasn't a double puzzle. But it has to be. He's taking his time. So my opponent's definitely going to grab an ace Rolla. He's going to bring back that Galissapod. Or not? Okay. Interesting. Unless he has one in his hand. That's just punishment at that point. I mean, he can do this too, I guess, but... No, okay. Interesting. Very interesting that my opponent decided to do that. Really glad we didn't see any roll. I'm actually going to Guzma the Glissopod out, knock it out. Do I special charge now? I mean, he's got no puzzles left, right? So that's fine. I don't know, we might not find Guzma for next turn either. I'm not going to put any more Pokemon down, I'll tell you that right now. I don't want to get knocked out by Zoark. Anyways, we are going to trade, get rid of Rolts. It's going to thin out the deck a little bit. Just in case we get into uh, one here. I might need that actually. No, I won't. Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't think I'm gonna need it. So we knock him out. Um, can I play the stretcher without any Pokemon? I don't think I can. I think I have to. Yeah, but we can always get rid of it. All right, we're gonna sense a blade him here, knock out this Gullisapod, and then next turn we get to Guzma that Zoark and win the game, or the other Zoark. I don't know how can my opponent win this turn. I don't know if he can. The only thing he could really do to shut me down is if he ends me to one, which he might do. He hasn't played a single end yet. So, if we get into one, this could be bad. But we do have Primo Wishin still, right? Unless he plays Professor Kikui. But even then, we could just ride just beating the... Uh, Stand in Zoark. I just hope we don't get end here, but we probably will. Our hand is absolutely massive. We have eight cards in our hand, so we're probably going to see an end here. Because he obviously wants to shut me down from having that last Guzma. Ultra Ball. I think he's going to go Lele for end. Nope. Okay. Does he have the end? He's got to have it. He's got to have it. He's got to at least play like one or two ends. He's got to end me here. There's no way he's not going to be able to end me. He has to. He's got to have the end. He doesn't have the end? The, no, no, you have to have it. He don't... Bro! Okay. And I guess that is how you wrap up a video. I, I think I'm going to end off the video here. This was probably the best showcase of the deck we could have asked for. But yeah, I was not expecting to win this matchup against Galissapod. Holy cow, even though, guys, we ended up making... A few misplays, maybe some of them were big, some of them were small. We were still able to win. I think I shot off this deck in beautiful succession because we were able to beat one of those matchups I was talking about with the whole fighting weakness thing, how we could just smoke Drampa, but we also beat one of our worst matchups in Galissapod. I I am in awe right now that we were able to win that. I am in awe right now. I actually even though like again guys, I made a few weird, weird kind of misplays. I don't know how I won. I, I don't even think I deserve to win that in all honesty. Some of those misplays were like really, really bad. I am just, I'm shocked, but I am not going to complain, guys. That was a great match. That was a great game, guys. And I think that will wrap up today's video because those games were probably the best games we could have gotten. Honest, honestly, we even used Twilight GX in a really good way, too. So, yeah, you can see why I really like Gardevoir. I told you Gardevoir is a game changer, what I tell you. So, some post video um thoughts maybe a fourth guzma's better 
I don't know, maybe you can go two ends, but again, I want to have like a ton of supporters. I think if you're going to take out any supporters, you have to throw in another supporter. Maybe you could take out the Vulpix, I didn't use it, but I wasn't also guaranteed to get that turn, the turn Gallade thing, right? Maybe you could take out a Tapu Koko, throw in maybe like something else. I don't know, I feel like this deck is pretty, pretty good. I don't know how I would tweak my list. You guys can always try it out for yourselves and try it out. Um, obviously. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PTCGO content. Help me in the road to 3,000 subscribers, guys. We will hit it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. And uh, yeah, peace out.